In this IB A-level biology video, we're going to be looking at how the blood transports the various substances. So we know it transports things like oxygen, products of digestion, carbon dioxide, urea, etc. How does it actually do this? And we're going to talk about that right now. So first of all, we'll start by listing the sort of substances transported in the blood. So that includes oxygen, dissolved products of digestion, such as amino acids and glucose, salts, which obviously includes table salts, so sodium chloride, so that'll be both sodium and chloride ions. And then urea, which is a breakdown product of protein digestion. Now, depending on the polarity and how soluble a substance is, will affect how it is actually transported in the blood. So, modes of transport include carriage within the plasma, and that will include soluble substances, such as sodium ions and chloride ions and also polar substances such as glucose and amino acids. Now oxygen is non-polar so it won't be carried efficiently within the plasma, instead it's carried on red blood cells which are known as erythrocytes. Now to add a little more detail here, remember that red blood cells contain an important protein pigment known as haemoglobin And that when oxygen is attached to that haemoglobin, it becomes oxyhemoglobin. Lastly, we need to talk about lipoproteins. Now, cholesterol and fats are both nonpolar, so again, they won't be transported readily in the plasma. So instead, they're transported in small droplets known as lipoproteins. And you find that the cholesterol and fats are coated by a layer of phospholipids and proteins, and that actually aids their transport within the blood. And we're just making a quick note here that the cholesterol and the fat are non-polar, hence they can't be carried within the plasma. So if we have a quick look at our summary, modes of transport in the blood include plasma. Make sure you can list that that's salts, glucose and amino acids, which are obviously polar substances. Red blood cells, which are nice and straightforward, they're used to transport oxygen. And I really should write that here, just to really point it out. And then lastly, lipoproteins are used to contain cholesterol and fat, and that's because they are non-polar.